special report for all you folks. Um, this morning, the Philippines look like they see some strange stuff over the skies. Uh, they're also seeing these type of uh, clouds, Asia, Indonesia. They're very strange, but let me get to the meat of the matter. Um, there were two or three objects, three objects caught in Norway while waiting on auroras. Stay tuned. The cameraman's having a hard time keeping the signal. Make no mistake, these are two planets or three moons. Okay, get my signal back, there you go. I did it in black and white so you could actually see that the bottom planet by the horizon down there by the ocean is throwing a shadow. Well, let's look at it in color now. Um, this is approximately, I think about five o'clock in the evening. We're gonna go like three hours in about eight minutes, all right? So if you can hang on, you'll see the best of the best three planets coming in. Now we're facing north, maybe a slightly northwest. Sun's going down. These uh, three objects, one on the center page top, and the two on the left are real objects. The one on the bottom looks more reddish yellow, and the one on top of that looks more brownish. These could be the two moons of Nebiru. On the right, I want you to point out that how dark blue it is, and it has a line going around to the left. It's like a perfect round giant circle, and that would be about what it is, but these could be moons. Uh, the yellow one on the bottom there that's helping the atmosphere, the yellow, is reflecting off the water. So remember, you know, this is also north. Dave Dobbs was talking about how things are going to go north, you know. And we're going to see it in the north going out. We'll keep watching. Our view of this, you know, the view of this object coming in that we're recording nearwise being seen in the night sky just before sunrise coming straight down towards the sun just like k2 it's just like guys you're seeing the same thing over and over and over again it's just like just like what happened from 2010 2011 when i started chartering these same objects these same flybirds that we were seeing and chartering them every 200 days and finally realizing that this blue planet is coming around with these twins and we can still, we, I'm going to take you through. The reason I have to take you through this little sequence of events is because in the sequence of events I'm about to show you of what's happened over the last 14 days and the position and the sighting of K2 being seen from Sweden this time and not from Britain being seen further in the northern hemisphere not closer to the ecliptic as i was imagining it was going to come closer to the ecliptic you know remember the massive shot in the middle of october around about october the 20th calvin looking for hobbs i'd made the massive video i was absolutely sensationally shocked i said i was just like guys how can it get any bigger and i haven't got that on screen right now but I'll, hopefully I'll just I'll just put a screenshot of that over as I'm saying that if I can find it but for those of you that um, can remember that just an utterly epic shot and so what I'm trying to tell you is that let's go through now let's go through because we made sense of all we'd seen all these stripy shots and finally Mr. BP Earthwatch who'd been putting me onto Jupiter for a long time, bringing me back constantly, saying, this is all Jupiter. Um, hopefully I've mentioned all of so many other people that have sent me these shots, and Matt Rogers shot of this same thing in 2021. Do you remember the same time? Epic shot of the blue planet. I haven't got that up right now, but wherever you are, wherever you are Matt, understand that you caught one of the most pivotal shots of history. In actual fact, you've caught two and so many more, but two of the most incredible shots that have ever been caught, mate. Just like this shot I'm showing you here that Steve Rady caught.